want to break down the short game mastery class for you. You see, the mastery class comes after you develop the basic skills. And that means you're able to play the bump and run with every club in your bag comfortably from multiple ball positions. Now, in the mastery class, you start to learn how pros practice. You see, we spend hours upon hours in a short game area developing shots, developing con confidence, developing all kinds of skills that then translate to low scores. That's truly the biggest difference between the general population of golf and professional golfers or competitive amateur golfers. We all work on our short game. We know how to get the ball in the hole. And so regardless of how far you hit the ball off the tee, if you know how to get the ball in the hole, just the other day I was talking to a friend of mine who's played on the European tour, Asian tour, South African tour, tells me stories all the time about Trevino and Seve and Palmer and interacting with them and playing with them and giving them lessons or taking lessons from them. It's all about short game. That's truly the thing that the general population needs to absorb. Instead of buying another driver, you should be buying more wedges because that's how you get the ball in the hole. So in the short game mastery class, what I'm doing is I'm teaching you how we practice. So practice can become kind of tedious or even not fun for the general population. Well, you have to make it interesting for you and you have to make it purposeful. So short game mastery class works like this. If we're going to break it down into a one hour segment, because that's what golf test dummy is going to be doing for you. It goes like this. The first 25% of the time, you're just hitting the bump and run with a pitching wedge from the center of your stance to one target that is a very simple target. You're not trying to play a, a big break or anything like that. It's a very basic and benign type of chip shot. The type of chip shot you want to leave yourself every time that you miss a green. Maybe 35 feet, 25 feet, something like that total distance. A very small and simple shot. And during that first 25% of the time, you want to be making sure that your mechanics are sound. Yes, you're hitting the ball solidly. Yes, you're keeping your weight still. Yes, your setup position is good. You're getting a repetitive and consistent result that you're seeing in the shot. And then from there, the next 25% of the time, you start to work from the same area, but with multiple clubs. So if pitching wedge, if I'm gonna be here with pitching wedge, I'll probably be about a yard behind me with nine iron and eight iron and seven iron and sand wedge and lob wedge. You see, so you start to pick the different spots where each of those clubs start to work for you. And you continue to do the same thing. You're basically just uh, um, solidifying your mechanics. You're holding still, your setup's good, and you're allowing the club to do the work. And what that ends up doing is starting to create different reference points for you so that you understand how far each club flies and runs out, but in a very basic and fundamental controlled area. Now, the next 25% of the time, you start to just take one ball, but all of those clubs, seven iron, six iron down to your, your wedges, whatever you feel like you can comfortably carry around, the more clubs you have, the more tools you have. And you start playing one ball from various spots. Now that idea of just playing one ball puts a consequence on it. This is not just there's another one coming. You have to start to hone in and be present so that you can hit the shot once and do it properly. And you're playing a variety of shots. This is where it kind of gets fun. You, you start playing shots that land short of the green into a slope and run up the slope and onto the green and you're starting to figure out how far each club flies and runs out when you're hitting a bump and run shot. And then the last 25% of the time is the mastery class. This is where I have three levels of mastery that I use in my short game and I teach it. Level one mastery. You play that very same simple shot that you started with, pitching wedge from the middle of your stance, maybe 35 feet, very little break, none if possible. No uphill, no downhill, very flat and simple shot. And what you're trying to do is you put, a, you, you put a three foot circumference around the hole. You can use ball markers and you can use your putter or whatever club in your bag might be 36 inches. And you lay out five or six ball markers around the hole. And what that does is it gives you a, a visual reference to how far 
your target area is. And obviously you're trying to hit it inside of three feet so that you can get up and down consistently. If you're hitting all your bump and runs inside of three feet, right, you're getting up and down. So level one mastery is you play nine shots in a row inside of that three foot circumference. And then you play level two mastery. That is 18 in a row inside of that three foot target with one make. And then level three mastery is 27 in a row inside that target with two makes. Now this will take you through uh, an experience because it's kind of remarkable how you're, you're able to do it a few times in a row, but then distractions will come in. The reality of trying to achieve your goal will come in. So things will start to float through your mind. And that's one of the purposes of this mastery drill. It's to start to deal with stuff like that. Because that's what happens on a golf course, you know? This is a very common awareness amongst any golfer that it's easy to get distracted by whatever thoughts are flowing through your head that do not help you to accomplish your goal at that time. And so what you start to do is you start to wrestle with them. You start to learn how to focus. You start to learn how to not be distracted by the random thoughts that will come in and say, wow, can you do it another time? Instead, you just keep doing what you are, are here to do, which is get into your setup position, hold your weight still, and allow the club to do the work. And if you continue to do that, you realize it's actually quite easy to achieve level three mastery. But it's a mental experience. And you have to go through this mental experience. And if you do, you're going to become better at focusing. You're going to have more confidence because of the positive experiences. But you're also going to learn how to practice. And you can practice purposefully when you set yourself goals to achieve and you set out to accomplish those goals. Because that truly starts to improve your focus while you're also improving your physical skills. So. Coming up, short game mastery class, watch golf test dummy, see how he does. It's going to be an experience for him, and it's going to be something that's going to change his ability to continue to lower his scores. He's going to break through some ceiling of understanding of his focus and his physical ability in order to then gain more skill in the game and then continue to improve.